Hello there. Uh, welcome to Financial Accounting in Six. Uh, today, we want to look at a question from the question paper of November 2022. So, this question paper that we have, we are going to look at question three on that question paper. And uh, specifically, we are going to look at uh, uh, 3.5, that is section 3.5 of that uh, question paper. So, this is uh, the question that we want to look at uh, 3.5. And it requires us to prepare uh, the statement of changes in equity. It reads, uh, prepare the statement of changes in equity for the year end that ended 29 February, February 2022, uh, using extract below, assuming that the net profit for the year is 240,000 rand. So this is our net profit that we are given. Then on the first uh, information, the member withdrew 345,900 rands of his membership contributions and no entry was made. So we are given the member's contribution there is 870,000, then the retained income is 420,000. Then uh, we can go on uh, on the last part of that question. That on item two, 20% of the member's contribution is here in page two, uh, B, by fun. So uh, uh, that's where the information is ending. And if you go to our answer section now, uh, this is the statement of changes in equity for the year in the 20th February 2022. So this is what we have. Uh, we have got a column for members' contribution, retained earnings, and total equity. So on total equity, we are just going to add what we have for the members' contribution, and then we add uh, what we have on retained earnings. Then another thing is uh, when we are preparing this statement of changes in equity, please clearly uh, indicate where you are subtracting by putting brackets. If you don't put brackets, no marks are going to be awarded. As the markers are marking, they don't award any marks when you don't indicate that uh, you are subtracting. So the indication of subtracting, we show by brackets, we'll see as we go. Right. Uh, so what we are going to start with, uh, we are going to start with the balance at the beginning of the year. So it means the year uh, we are going to have our balance, uh, our balance uh, at the beginning of the year. Uh, of the year. This is where we start, and then we go back to check uh, for all the information that you are given. Uh, what are the balances that are there? So if you come here, uh, we are, you see that these are the balances that we are given. Uh, we are given eight hundred seventy thousand for members' contribution, then four hundred twenty thousand for retained income. So we are just going to enter those ones. So we are here, members' contributions, remember, we have got 870,000, so 870,000. Then for retained earnings, we are given 420,000. Then we add the two retained earnings uh, uh, plus uh, members' contribution there. Then we get your total equity here, which is 1,290,000. Right, so after balance at the beginning, uh, you are supposed to add debt profit for the year in the column for retained earnings only. Uh, remember the net profit for the year increases the balance for retained earnings. Uh, so here we are saying net profit for the year. A net profit for the year, then you, uh, if you go back here, uh, you'd see that the figure that we have for net profit for the year uh, we are given it at the beginning there is 240,000. So this is the figure that we are going to put there. Uh, 240,000, we are adding it there. So uh, we, we don't put any brackets. Uh, remember, show it as a positive thing you are adding. Then uh, here on the uh, total equity, we are saying uh, here we don't have anything, but here we have 240. So uh, the total here remains uh, 240,000. 240, so this is what we have. Uh, then uh, we can go there to check in adjustment that needs to be done there. Uh, we are told that the member withdrew 345,900 from his membership contributions and no entry was made. Uh, so it means uh, on the column of members' contribution, we need to subtract this one because this is a withdrawal. So uh, we are going to show it as a negative. It's going to reduce the, uh, the balance that we have for members' contribution. So uh, 345,900. So here we now we are saying withdrawal of contribution. Uh, withdrawal. Uh, withdrawal of contribution. Okay. 
we are saying withdrawal of contribution. So the figure that we have there is 345,900 and we are putting it in the column for members' contribution. 345,900. So uh, this is what we have. Uh, so beneath that now we can now adjust for our uh for other other adjustments that we have uh, but uh, before we do that we have got the total of it means uh here we don't have anything uh, straight away we are putting this figure in that column of total so it means here we have got also three thousand four hundred uh, and we are showing it as a as a deduction so this is what we have uh then we check another adjustment Uh, we take another adjustment uh, there. So you see that here we don't have anything, so we can go to the next page on the last item. So this is our last item. It is 20% of the member's contribution, 20% of the member's contribution at year end uh, paid to uh, B Bafana. So what it means is 20% uh, of the member's contribution at the end. So uh, we need to calculate the member's contribution at the end, then we calculate the 20% so that we get that figure. Then the figure that you get, we are, we are supposed to subtract it from the retained earnings column. So here, what we are saying, let's just, uh, uh, so uh, the, we are supposed to first of all find the balance here in this column, then the balance we calculate it is 0 0.2 at 20%. Then the, the answer that you get, we put it uh, in this column. So it means here now we have got a distribution, uh, distribution of members, We've got distribution. Uh, members can leave it blank here. We're supposed to put it in this column here. So we can leave it blank and then uh, we can uh, put our lines there to show that we are now uh, getting the total figures. And then if you find the balance here, this is the balance that we are looking for. So uh, you'd see that here uh, to get the balance, we are just getting. Are saying 870,000 minus 345,900. So let's calculate that one. Uh, if you calculate that one collectively, we are going to get uh, 524,100. So then uh, to find this figure, this is the 20% that is being uh, uh, explained there. So what we are going to do, uh, we are going to say 20% is 20 over 100 uh, times uh, this 524. 1,100 uh, over one. Basically, if you reduce it there, it becomes 0 0.2. 20 percent is a decimal, 0 0.2. Then you multiply by 524,100. Then uh, the answer that you get there uh, is 104,820. 104,820. So this is the figure that is coming here. And we are uh, subtracting it. So here it means we have got 104,000. 820 and we are subtracting it we show it in brackets and it's going to come here again is a subtraction uh, 820 then uh, we can now uh, uh, find the balances of the two columns the other two columns here we are just saying 420,000 plus 240,000 minus 104,820 then we get this one which is 555,000 555,180 uh, the same thing in this column. Uh, what we are saying in that column, we are saying 1,290,000. 1,290,000. We add our two, uh, 240,000, subtract our 345,900, uh, and then we subtract again 104,820. Then uh, the answer that we get here now becomes um, 1,079,208. 1, a positive so we leave it like that so this is what we have in terms of this statement of changes in equity hopefully uh, this video was helpful we will uh, we'll meet again in the next video those who even subscribe please subscribe and share uh let's stay tuned for more videos and get notified thanks for this video i'm signing out